guy's latest tool purchase. Uh, this is a screw removal plier uh, by Engineer, Japanese plier. Uh, the correct name for them is the Neji Saurus RX, model number PZ59. These are an excellent little plier for removing screws that you've rounded off, as I try to show in the, the intro. Uh, but the company Engineer actually do a really good intro animated video, uh, which I'll link to now. And that'll give you a good introduction to these pliers, so here we go now. Enjoy! guys will hopefully enjoy that uh, intro um, but one of the things that put me off buying these I've been looking at them for a while actually was the believe it or not was the grips I just thought they looked really cheap in the pictures or uh, any videos I've watched and things but once you get them they're actually I don't know what you think but when you look at those you would think they were hard plastic grips um, when in fact they're, they're actually really nice grips you know they're really soft uh, soft but very well made just uh, so that was one of the things I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised about. Uh, another thing relating to the grips uh, is they're actually formed in a T shape. I don't know how that shows on there, um, but the advantage of that is, if you can imagine the the metal handle being formed in a T shape, and um, when you you know twist the grip like that, it will not turn on the handle like some pliers. So you can twist that all all day long, and these grips will not move. It's difficult to see there, but I think you can maybe see it from that. Uh, so that's a, another great, great feature with these pliers. Again, they're Japanese, uh, so you know Japanese steel makers. You know they've got a great reputation, going back, dating back to the samurai sword days. Uh, just excellent quality. Uh, Size-wise, um, let's put them there. So we've just got standard Nipex 200mm pliers here. Uh, these are 180 insulated pliers by Nipex as well, so just to give you an idea of the size. So they're around about the 200mm length. Slightly narrower than the Nipex. Um, the head's slightly smaller as well, which to me is an advantage, you know, for getting in those tight spaces where you want to remove the screws. And now, as I've said, the, the primary reason I bought these was for the removal of rounded off screws. Um, as I showed you in the video. If you saw at the start of my video, you saw an outside light with the bracket on the wall uh, with the, the rusted screws. That's a, that's a common problem I face when I'm doing those, that type of jobs. Normally I end up just drilling the screws out, you know, but these, you know, just carry these in your pocket and I think they'll be excellent, you know. So I've done a little mock-up of, you know, the type of scenarios I would use them. There's like standard screws there, dome head screws, you know, different materials. I don't need to do them all, I'll just I'll grab this one here just to show you it. But the, the first thing you notice with these is they just take such a grip, you know. Well, smack my mama! This is a very low profile screw screw head here. And you can take my time and be careful with it. But... <laughs> it's like locked on there. Brilliant, but the first thing you notice is 
an actual bite to these take of the, the screw. Once you get once you get that jaws onto the side of the screw, due to the curvature here, um, I don't know how. I don't think that'll focus. That's why I put the animated video up to, to show you. But you know, the jaws are curved, they're serrated vertically as opposed to across the way. So that's what gives you the grip on the screws. Just excellent, you know. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with these actually. I've been playing about with them for the last two or three days, just done different different scenarios. Uh, haven't let me down so far. Okay, so these pliers have interlocking teeth, as you probably saw from the, the animated video. To be honest, it's not something I would think of using uh, in my current you know, line of work. Um, I did used to be in the engineering industry, you know, years ago, so probably would have worked for, you know, you know, small stainless steel shims and stuff for like grabbing the plate. But actually, when you try these with the interlocking teeth, even in a fairly thick bit of metal, once you take a grip of that and try and pull this out, I mean, it is, you can just feel the, a huge difference with the, with the grip they, they take on a flat surface like that. Uh, I was measuring them up against the Nipex pliers, which are no slouches. These are these are great pliers, with a, a great uh, reputation. But for this type of job, you know, you grip on it here, even squeeze down really hard, you can feel this, the slippage, you know, left and right and back and forward slightly. Grip with these again. Honestly, that left and right, you will not budge. So, just demonstrating that feature. Okay, again, so as well as the, you know, the, the gripping feature with the, the front grips and the obvious screw removal feature, you've, you've got the standard cutting edges there. Which uh, Japanese steel are bound to be good. Uh, I haven't really put them through their paces yet, but um, I'm pretty sure they'll be excellent. Yeah, and you've got the, the grips in there as well. A couple of small holes in the end there, so you could tether these, you know, to your belt or tool belt, whatever. Um, not really impressed with these. Um, the price point as well. I mean, they're nineteen pounds ninety nine. Well, the ones I got. That's why I paid for these. Uh, so if you Put them up against the Nipex, they're going to do most, most of the same jobs as the Nipex pliers, but you've got the added added bonus of being able to take screws out with these as well. So, you know, I would seriously consider replacing all my Nipex pliers. Not replacing, but, you know, having a set of these in, in most of my bags. Because I just think they're going to be uh, well worth their money. Yeah, the scenarios I can see myself using these, as I've said, is probably outside sort of any metal bracketing that's been fitted outside uh, with, you know, screws that have corroded. These will come in really handy. Um, another one is probably the, you know, the brass screws that are normally, you know, used to fit uh, toilet cisterns to the walls yeah, from the 1950s, 1960s. Uh, they can be notoriously difficult to get out, you know, and they're corroded. You know, just, just aged, you know, they're, they're so soft that I think these would be great just to get hold of the screws and you know, get them out. General maintenance pliers, uh, you always come up against those wee screws that you round off and you know, cutting rails, just silly little things like that. Kitchen fitting, and these are just going to be fantastic. Hey guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, hopefully it brought these to the attention of anybody that hasn't seen them before. Um, just but my short usage of them, as I said, uh, I would highly recommend them. Um, obviously, haven't been used a lot yet, but. You, can, you know yourself, you can tell when you get a good tool and you know when it's going to do the job it's designed for just by using it, you know, the first time. Uh, this is such a tool, you know. Um, I'll leave links down there in the description to this, uh, where you can get it from Amazon. I think it's 19.99. Well, that's what I paid, so I'm assuming the link will be the same. If you, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and anybody new here, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down there. That would be great. And my uh, current subscribers, uh, thanks as always. It's much appreciated. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one, guys. Okay, cheers.